Local 4 News begins right now with a breaking news alert. Breaking right now, Detroit police are investigating a shooting on the city's northwest side. This happened on Tracy Street. Witnesses say one man was hit by gunfire, but we're not sure about his condition. He was rushed to the hospital. We do have a crew on the scene gathering the very latest information, and we'll bring you an update tonight at 5. Also today, the highest court in the land gives President Trump a huge victory. The U.S. Supreme Court ruled in favor of the president's travel ban on a select number of countries. The ruling ends months of battles in the federal courts. Devin Skillion in the newsroom tracking reaction to the ruling. Devin. Well, Karen, critics uh, said that the president's travel ban was basically a Muslim ban, but the Supreme Court in a sharply divided ruling disagreed. It said the president had the authority to impose the ban, which was aimed at most people coming to the United States from five Muslim-majority countries. Uh, the president's ban is aimed at most travelers from the countries of Iran, Libya, Syria, Somalia, and Yemen, but also North Korea and Venezuela. The lawsuit challenging the ban was filed by the state of Hawaii, but today's ruling turned down that challenge. The Supreme Court, the vote was five to four. The majority, led by Chief Justice John Roberts, he was joined by Justices uh, Alito, Thomas, Gorsuch, and Kennedy. The dissenting justices were Breyer, Sotomayor, Kagan, and Ginsburg. Uh, reaction coming in from Capitol Hill and the White House. So the Supreme Court ruling was a tremendous victory for this country and for the Constitution. The Supreme Court, the Supreme Court ruling was a tremendous victory for our country. The Congress now has work to do. It cannot simply allow the courts to determine or the president what our future is in this area. There now needs to be legislation.